Hey, what's going on, everybody? Scotty from Straight Back coming at you with another good episode. And this one, we're going to be talking about CRST and their lease purchase program. All right, let's get into it. CRST. Well, as you see, they got plenty of different divisions and branches, including flatbed, dedicated services, expedited services, which include team running, and they have specialized transportation as well, which is a pretty unique sector other than many other types of companies out there, what they offer. I actually look into it myself. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh, right here. Check this out. Now, yes, this is an older picture, and you'll see in just a moment the newer updated version of all the with the newer trucks. But look at that. Look at all the different types of freight they haul right there. The flatbed, the tarped. It's pretty nice. And there it is. There's the newer version of it. Very nice. Beautiful trucks. And as you see, they have a plentiful amount of trailers on their yard there. A lot of space. I like that. I wonder if this is just a staged photo and that space is really there. But look at that beautiful updated trucks. They have about 50, 600 drivers and about just shy of 5,000 trucks, which is pretty impressive. It's a lot. That is a lot. They haul over, or just shy actually, of 500 million miles a year. And look at these, look at these views here of their corporate office. Very beautiful. All right, let's get into the orientation so an orientation expect to be there for about four days and it's usually 8 a.m to 5 p.m nine hours daily go ahead and screenshot this so that you can review it uh, at your own pace day one you're pretty much going to go through the whole spiel of the company's own personal regulations and then you're going to do that in day day two three and four day one you expect to do a road test and from there you're going to go over the macros, how you're going to check in at places, how you're going to communicate with the e-log, so on and so forth. And as you see there on day four, near the end of the day or midday, you're going to be going over flatbed regulations and procedures as well as specialized freight. To get into a lease purchase with CRST, all you need is just six months of experience. You could run solo or team, and usually... Lease purchase drivers stay out between one and three weeks. Something that caught my eye here was the 100% paid tolls. That can definitely be helpful if you're running in key areas such as the Northeast. Solo drivers earn up to $1.98 per mile, and that's loaded with fuel surcharge. Now empty miles up to $1.77 with fuel surcharge. Solo drivers can expect to run up to 2,200 to 2,500 miles per week. Now, team drivers can earn up to $2.08 per mile loaded and $1.87 empty. Also, keep in mind that I've included the 21 cents per mile handling charge uh, that you're going to be making in revenue if you're doing specialized or flatbed. Team drivers can actually average around 3,900 or more miles per week. Sign on bonuses. Let's talk about it. So, as you see here, you're going to see the breakdown on the left, and as you see the grid, the payout along the duration, you see going to the right. Go ahead and screenshot that lease purchase solo. They get up to $2,000 sign on bonus payout. Lease purchase team, $4,000. Owner operator gets $8,000, and owner operator team gets $10,000 sign on bonus. This breaks down how you're handling. Uh, is paid as far as flatbed and or specialized freight. Specialized freight is when you use a pallet jack and a lift gate to move the freight in the vehicle and to unload it. So if you're a van driver or a flatbed driver, specialized freight driver, and you got bad weather on your hands, you will actually get paid for pre-approved out of route mileage. Also, you'll get $100 a day if you gotta go and stay in a hotel. 
Me personally, I love keeping my truck clean so you can actually get reimbursed for 13 washes per year at $50 per wash. Your phone, heh, check this out, $50 per month and that requires a receipt to get reimbursed. So your cell phone can get paid $50 per month credit towards that. As I said before earlier in this program, I said I love those tolls getting paid, especially if you're running up in the Northeast. 100% paid tolls. Beautiful. You got a pet that you like to bring with you over the road? Well, they got a pet program. And if you got someone that's 12 years or older, they can ride with you just $5 per month, which is extremely inexpensive compared to the other carriers out there. So at this stage, I'm sure you're probably wondering, well, what kind of truck am I going to get? How much is it going to cost me? And here it is. One of the things that I'm a little turned off on is the fact that they say they're going to pick the best truck for you. So you're not initially picking your actual truck out of like a lineup. That's something that's a little bit disappointing. So your trucks come nicely equipped with a refrigerator, an inverter, and cabinets installed Another ouchie is the fact that you got a balloon payment at the end of your lease of about $5,000. Okay, so how much is this going to cost us per week if we decide to lease this truck? I'm going to do some quick math here, so stick with me. So if you do solo and you average 2,300 miles per week and you have a high payment of $550 per week uh, for the truck, $100 for the bobtail physical damage, 350 for the maintenance, and it comes to just 1,000 per week. Now, if you run teams and you average 3,900 miles per week, your payment will be uh, $1,025, same as the physical damage as the solo, $100 per week. The maintenance is a little bit more because you're paying per mile. It comes to 575 out the door per week, 1,700 bucks. Let's keep in mind that these are three-year leases, and the balloon payment of $5,000, if you break it down over the three years on a weekly, it comes to $32.05 per week. So what are you going to make ultimately per week? All right, let's go solo, 2,300 miles. The same breakdown as we did in the last slide. Total expenses, $1,000 per week. Now, you see right below... The red text, I added an additional text of additional mathematics. Uh, averaging, so if we're getting 7 miles per gallon over 2,300 miles, that's 330 gallons. And we end up paying $1,530 estimated per week in fuel. So with our lease expense of $1,000, our total lease expense is $2,530. Now, if we average $1.75 per mile over 2,300 miles, that's $4,025. Deduct a $2,530 from the $4,025, that gives us $1,495 net pre-taxed. All right, so now let's do the same thing over in the green text on the left for the team driving. How much can you make driving team over here at CRST? 3,900 miles. So we break it down. Average fuel cost is about $2,600, and that's averaging 7 miles per gallon at 3,900 miles. That gives us 558 gallons. Lease expense, $1,700. Total expenses, oops, I messed that up, huh? Hmm. Well, it comes to $3,600. So, your revenue at $1.87 per mile at 3,900 miles. Yes, you get paid more by running teams per mile than solo. About $0.12 cents per mile on average. So, that's $7,300 minus your $3,600 in lease expenses, including fuel, comes to about $3,700 net pre-tax. That's $1,850 each driver. Now I want you to keep in mind that you can make around 21 cents on average per mile additional if you choose to do specialized freight. So specialized freight could make you an additional $480 if you're running solo or over $800 if you're running team. So consider that if you're looking at CRST on a lease purchase. All right, so that's it for CRST. I definitely love their lease purchase program. There's pros and cons on both sides. Definitely looks like two thumbs up for CRST on their lease purchase. If you're considering it, 
go ahead and uh, hit up your recruiter. They got some good people there that will give you lots of good information in a prompt and timely manner. All right, well, that's all for this one. Thank you for tuning in to Straight Back TV with me, Scotty Jr. And until next time, have a wonderful day and drive safe, my brothers and sisters. Take it easy. All right, everybody, it's that time. If you like this video and the content therein and you want to see some more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.